Are able to see that? Yes. Wonderful. Um, so please don't be surprised. It's going to look very similar in layout to uh, Jamie's. Uh, but there's a little bit of collaboration among us as we try to make sure we covered these areas. Uh, but as Deepak said, my name is Kevin Knotts. Um, if I can get my computer to work there. Uh, again, following sort of a similar line of thought to what Jamie had done, I will tell you a little bit about who I am, uh, my teaching, my research, my service, um, as well as a few other presentations and panels I've been a member of, and then a few upcoming events that I have as well involved with various communities. Um, so as Deepak said, he became department chair right around the time that I was hired. I just finished my third full year here at Marshall, uh, started in August of 2018. My interview was in the fall of 2017. Uh, prior to that, and please don't hold that against me, but I did come from WVU. Uh, I received both my PhD and my MBA from there. Prior to that, I received my bachelor's from Potomac State College, a satellite campus of WVU. Originally, I'm from Kaiser, West Virginia. Uh, I am from the state. I've lived here my whole life. When I had the opportunity to come back to Marshall and stay in the state, uh, that's where I thought I was going to be able to make the most difference. Uh, being that I was where these students were not that long ago, I was in a similar line of thought to them. I thought this was a really great opportunity to be able to come back. Uh, my teaching interests and in philosophy, uh, the two main courses that I teach here at Marshall are the undergraduate negotiations course and the graduate level HR foundations course. I've also taught leadership and organizational behavior, but of the, I believe, 25 courses I've taught so far, I think 23 of them are either the negotiations or the human resources course. So I do specialize in those two areas. Uh, I've taught them in a variety of different formats, both face-to-face, -face, virtual, and online for both of those courses. And a little bit about my philosophy is that I believe students need to be able to take what I teach and use it outside the classroom. If a month after they have my class, they can't tell you anything from it, then I didn't do my job, in my opinion. So I want to make sure that I provide them with the skills they need to do that. Again, drawing back to my roots from the state, I do feel with the number of students we have from both West Virginia and the surrounding areas, I am able to connect with them in that way. I think back to what worked when I was an undergraduate and how my professors were able to connect with me. And I try to implement those things and take feedback. Um, and along with the teaching, I was a 2021 finalist for the Marshall University Pickens Queen Award. Uh, this is a teaching award that is given to a tenure track faculty member. Um, unfortunately, I did not win it. I was just a finalist, but it was an honor to be able to represent the College of Business and the management department at that level. Um, I tried to do my best to make sure that those outside the college were also seeing the good work that we were doing inside of the college. Um, my research, most of it uh, goes to the top circle of that Venn diagram. Uh, pretty much everything that I do looks at motivation and why people do what they do. Uh, whether that is examining why they do good things, why they do bad things, how an individual's motivation can change a situation. Most of what I do comes back to that main area. I also have research in human resources and then in a specific statistical analysis called meta-analyses. Um, but most of what I do falls either in one of those categories or the overlap between them. Um, since I started in Marshall, I've had four publications, uh, the first four journals listed there. I've also had two more papers accepted and they're in the final process of being published right now. I've also had uh, six conference presentations since I started here at four different conferences um, with Jamie at the Western Academy was my most recent one. Um, I've also presented other papers there at the Southern Management Association, the Society for the Advancement of Management, and the Appalachian Research and Business Symposium. Um, again, I just try to understand why people do what they do. I think that's an interesting area, um, understanding the ways we can have people do stuff, how they're influenced, what they're working on, is something that's always interested me. I got involved in that early in my research with my dissertation chair, and it has followed me through and will continue to be that way. My pipeline is built around these three core areas. 
I do have some projects that sort of bounce in and out of there, but for the most part, my research does tie back to these uh, three tenets. Um, like Jamie, I've been involved in a fair amount of different service activities from a wide variety of different areas. Uh, but sort of the key ones I wanted to mention here, um, since I started at Marshall, I've been a co-advisor for the Marshall Sherm chapter with Dr. Margie McInerney. Um, I've also been on and am currently serving on two task forces that are looking at uh, specific strategic initiatives for the college, that being the DBA launch task force, uh, where we've taken it and developed our criteria. We're interviewing the candidates, getting it ready to start launch in the fall. And then the BBA core curriculum task force, where we are revisiting the core classes that all college students in the uh, college business take, what they are potentially looking at revamping that. These are two initiatives. I was approached about being on these task forces, thought it was a great opportunity and wanted to take advantage of that. Uh, and then at the committee level, uh, this past year I served on the teaching and learning committee in its first year and we was part of putting together the inaugural teaching and learning conference for the College of Business. Um, and prior to that, I was on the continuous improvement committee where we looked at the journalist for research. Um, I also have various items outside. I do a lot of reviewing for journals and conferences, um, but these are just the key service areas I wanted to mention. A uh, few other presentations and panels I've done over the past three years. Uh, I was a panelist for the John Marshall Leadership Fellow Program uh, on a panel on motivation. I was a participant in a HERD 2020 Insights webinar uh, with Genoma City on employee privacy during the age of COVID. I was a co-panelist host of a Global Connection speaker series on global HR in the uh, spring. And again, back to the inaugural College of Business Teaching and Learning Conference, I was a panelist on a Global Concepts and Issue panel as well as had an individual presentation on student participation and engagement during virtual classes. So these don't really fall into any of the three above categories, but there are some of the elements I've been involved with over the last few years and did want to mention them. And then I did also say upcoming events. I just wanted to let you know some of the other areas I'm involved with. Um, I have multiple sessions. Um, an organization I was involved with a fair amount throughout high school and college was the West Virginia, Ohio Youth Leadership Association. Uh, they host their summer camps at Camp Horseshoe up in the Blackwater Falls area. Um, I will be doing a session on design thinking for them actually next Friday. And then the following Monday, I'll be doing a session for them on self-leadership. Uh, they host these camps for high school students in the state um, who are involved with the uh, Youth Leadership Association. And then also I'll be doing a session for the West Virginia Governor's School that's being hosted here. Um, I'll be hosting that with my dissertation chair actually, and we'll be doing it on leadership and self-leadership and the role that that plays. So um, again, I thank you for your time. Um, Deepak, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak here. You know, this is an area that when I have to talk about myself, it makes me nervous because I don't like talking about myself because it sounds like bragging. So. I just want to give you all a little bit of info about me, and thank you very much for taking the time out of your day. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, Kevin is one of our star teacher and star researcher, and he is a little humbler, as you know, so he doesn't want to talk about himself. I kind of knew that. He, 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 I kind of knew his humble personality, but that is his strength. He does his work very well, and he is, uh, he is um, humble.